had one. For some reason, I asked him if I could have permission to search the vehicle. And he said, sure, no problem. At that point, Orozco's eight-year-old uh, daughter jumped out of the van All that and waited by the side of the road. away from his vehicle, went to the back of the van and bashed him put his hands on the car. He went in a motion as he was going to cooperate. And as I stepped forward with my handcuffs and my hand to handcuff him, he spun around and hit me in the face. Oh. <laughs> Michelle Jeter was immediately knocked unconscious. She has no recollection of the savage beating that followed in full view of Jorge Orozco's daughter. My job takes me on the road for weeks at a time. I go where I'm needed. I miss Sunday dinners. I miss just the house full of noise. But I'm helping people. That makes it worthwhile. Does crime pay? It's a matter of perspective. If you're the criminal, I would imagine you'd say, living in fear. And then is it worth it? I mean, is it worth it if you get caught that you're going to spend the rest of your life and never report? Then probably crime does pay. No, it doesn't pay because you have, uh, you know, higher source. Yes, yours works with Saving those they could and taking them to shelters in two neighboring towns. Couple of videos. They arrive in sort of a presentation for engaging in the kind of activities they do. They see it as an adventure, they see it as a challenge, and they seek it not only from the football itself, but also from getting in fighting afterwards. And the question arises. What are the social standards, what are the values that these particular groups bring to the football ground? And I think that these values can be traced primarily back to principally working class communities and the rough sections of those communities. Had no idea they were being secretly videotaped. If I say one. No, I will not give it to you. They actually asked for that video recorder back there. Yeah. Morning. Authorities also knew what was on the scene. I think there were about 11 different burglaries, burglaries, both vehicles. There were arson, forgeries. A wire loose somewhere. I never liked you. Because I'm prettier than you? Because you're stupid. No, you are. No, you are. I'm laughing you are. and no, just you breaking are. a few car windows, as bad as that is. We, we are like one of the first people ever to have this. The victim. I'm sure it's both. Remember to fight this? Mm. 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 
Two out of three. Okay, you ready? Yep. In the past, always been a championship caliber team, and I think because of some of the things we're in a position to, uh, you know, and more of our interview with Jeff Gordon coming your way. Right. Oh, he's our son. Such a good boy. Always let us know where he was filing down the center. C A L L A T T. Foreman, light truck and SUV. All tight. Hey, Billy. You been working out? No, not really. with up to $1,000 in the pocket. Hey, Billy, we're shrinking. Yeah. 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 More than 300 votes for the vice president. Those are those. Put it in the final tally. The recount continues. And what do you say to me? Uh, by uh, uh, letting this process go forward. Let me ask uh, Mike Carvin here to answer that. In her discretion by the Florida legislature, and indeed that she's following, she's going to speculate on that sort of thing. But obviously, there's going to be a winner declared. The, the, the two cases are entirely separate. It ends it unless the United States Supreme Court chooses to. I thought you were saying that there's no way. Clear from listening to Nancy ballots are added this week. The American public, if, uh, if for some reason you felt partisan becomes uh, the worst it gets for it. Now, a congressional challenge could force the election to be the first campaign believes it would be difficult to resist the Democratic victory. The vice president's people still in the lab. His rant, especially admiring the governor's where uh, you cannot expect to get the concern about the ongoing hand counting of some alive in Austin, Texas. Hey. Brian. All right. Hey, it's a handgun! Isn't it great? This is the trigger, and this is the thing you point at whenever you want to die. Homer, I don't want guns in my house. Don't you remember when Manny shot Mr. Burns? I thought Smithers did it. That would have made a lot more sense. Hey, Dad, can I borrow the gun tomorrow? I want to scare that old security guard at the bank. Only if you clean your room. <laughs> no! No one's using this gun. 5% of your back-to-school purchase to the school of your choice. Office okay, Depot. so then the total Helping is 6 votes for Fillmore and now business. 7 votes for Ike. Ike is the new class president. We want a recount. What? Recount, 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 recount. Oh, of all the juvenile things I've ever heard, you lost, Fillmore. Don't be such a baby. <laughs> I want a recount. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll count up the ballots again. Okay, we had one vote for Fillmore, and this time I again get six votes for Fillmore and seven votes for Ike. Count them again. Yeah, yeah. No, children. I've recounted 106 times now, and I keep coming up with seven to six, except in the one instance where it came out seven to five and one where it came out 12 to 14. It's over. Ike is class president. Wait, there's still the absent kid. Yeah, Carlos was absent. We have to wait for his vote. Oh, will you grow up? Once the embryos thaw, their hearts will start beating. They will grow into the spacefarers of the future, not formed in a human body, but incubated in a machine. Basically a plastic structure with an artificial umbilical cord, and the embryo would grow into a baby, the baby would be born, and then you would have surrogate parents, probably in the form of robots, would then raise the child, teach them about Earth and its culture, and transplant a new generation to the stars. Right behind us, look! 